What are the causes of chattering? The main causes of chattering are excessive inlet pressure drop, excessive built-up back pressure and oversized valve. Write about chattering solutions. You can resolve chattering by carrying out the following design and install adequately sized PSVs as the larger PSV is more prone to experience chattering and avoid long inlet piping runs and fittings to the PSV. Are design pressure and MAWP the same? Design pressure is a process design term that specifies the minimum pressure to which the vessel must be designed. Maximum allowable working pressure is the maximum gauge pressure permissible at the top of the equipment with the equipment installed in its operating position and at a designated temperature. The MAWP is equal to or greater than the design pressure. Differentiate between accumulation and blowdown. Accumulation is the pressure increase over the maximum allowable working pressure expressed in pressure units or is a percentage of maximum allowable working pressure or design pressure. Blowdown is the difference between the set pressure and the closing pressure of a PSV expressed as a percentage of the set pressure or in pressure units. Is it good to use a single PSV for two equipment or vessels? Why? A single PSV can be used to protect two equipment or vessels if they are connected without being blocked. API suggests that the pressure drop from the vessel furthest from the PSV be taken into account. In which cases one selects multiple PSVs? In cases where the required orifice area that is calculated is greater than the largest orifice designation available that is T-type orifice, multiple smaller orifices can be used to provide an effective orifice area cumulatively. What is the role of MAWP to design PSV? MAWP is used to determine the set pressure of the PSV. What do you understand by the term depressuring rate? API 521 suggests that to depressurize a pressure vessel, it must be brought down to 50% of the design pressure or 7 bars G, whichever value is lower, in 15 minutes. The flow rate at which proper depressurizing can be achieved is termed the depressuring rate. What are the input parameters required to design a PSV? The input parameters required to design a PSV include equipment design pressure, back pressure, expected flow rate, relieving temperature and fluid phase and other properties. Is the pump suction line greater than the discharge line? Yes, the pump suction line will always be greater than the discharge line. What is meant by erosion velocity? Systems accommodating two-phase flow should be sized primarily based on flow velocity. If the flow velocity is too high, loss of wall thickness can occur through the process of erosion. The velocity at which erosion may occur is expressed as fluid erosion velocity as equal to the ratio of empirical constant to the root of gas-liquid mixture. For a solids-free continuous service, a C value of 100 can be employed in the equation, whereas for intermittent services, a C value of 125 is to be used. What is the objective of line sizing? The main purpose of line sizing is to fill appropriate data on P and IDs, datasheets, and line lists which help us meet and decide process parameters such as flow rate, fluid velocity, and pressure. It also helps us determine other parameters such as pump head requirements and most importantly, process safety. What is Stokes Law? Stokes Law is a mathematical expression that determines the force that is the viscous drag acting on a spherical body in motion through a fluid medium. It is expressed as viscous drag as equal to the 6 times the product of a radius of the sphere, coefficient of viscosity, velocity and a pi value. What is friction factor? Darcy friction factor is a dimensionless quantity that is used to describe the frictional losses in pipe flow. It is used in the darcy weisbach equation. It is expressed as Darcy friction factor is equal to the product of pressure drop into 2 times inside pipe diameter to the product of the length of the pipe, density and the velocity squared. What are STP conditions and NTP conditions? STP stands for standard temperature and pressure. The condition when pressure is equal to 1 atmosphere and the temperature is equal to 0 degree Celsius. This condition is termed as STP condition. 
NTP stands for normal temperature and pressure. The condition when pressure is equal to 1 atmosphere and the temperature is equal to the 20 degree Celsius. This condition is termed as NTP condition. What are the different types of pumps used in the industry? Pumps primarily used in industry are centrifugal pumps and positive displacement pumps. The positive displacement pumps can be further classified as rotary type positive displacement pumps and reciprocating type positive displacement pumps. Explain the necessity of the performance curves to size pumps. Pump curves provide various data graphically for a given flow rate. The different pump curves include head versus flow rate, efficiency versus flow rate and NPSH required versus flow rate. For any given flow rate, any of the above mentioned parameters can be obtained. Pump curves also provide a graphical representation of the pump BEP. Differentiate between pump and compressor. A pump is a machine that moves fluid that is liquid or gas from one place to another, whereas, a compressor is a machine that compresses or squeezes gas into a smaller volume and increasing pressure, and moves it from one place to another. In this video series, the questions given in Chapter 17 from our handbook, Process Plant Design and Simulation Volume 1, will be answered. The handbook is a must-have for any process engineer with an interest in process simulation, providing you with the building blocks that would eventually have you simulating entire systems independently. Get yours today. The link is available in the description. In this video series, the questions given in Chapter 17 from our handbook, Process Plant Design and Simulation Volume 1, will be answered. The handbook is a must-have for any process engineer with an interest in process simulation, providing you with the building blocks that would eventually have you simulating entire systems independently. Get yours today. The link is available in the description. In this video series, the questions given in Chapter 17 from our handbook, Process Plant Design and Simulation Volume 1, will be answered. The handbook is a must-have for any process engineer with an interest in process simulation, providing you with the building blocks that would eventually have you simulating entire systems independently. Get yours today. The link is available in the description.